Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing wonderful. If this is your first time checking out my channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning guys, welcome back in. I'm so excited to have you guys here. I know it's been a minute. I've just been so busy, so busy. Things are, you know, actually really taking off. So i um, been pretty, pretty steady, but I hope you guys are all doing fantastic. Thank you guys so much for all of your likes, your donations, you know, your, your words, your encouragement, your blessings, just everything, guys. I'm so grateful for the Soul Family. So I decided to drop this video for you guys because I know some of you really count on these videos to get you through, especially when I'm not live. So hopefully this one resonates with you guys. If it doesn't, that is okay too. But hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you're not part of our Soul Family. All right, so for some of you... What is on your person's mind right now is that they're seeing you as a twin flame. They're definitely feeling some type of connection with you. And I feel like because of that, they are definitely overthinking this connection. This person does not know how to feel about you. You're so different than anyone else this person has ever dealt with, been involved with. They're just trying to figure out what is it about you. They do see you as a wafing material too. Like this is someone that's like, damn, like this woman, this divine feminine is wafing you written all over. Like there could be ego involved. Maybe there could be that this person has a lot of fear, a lot of trauma, past relationships, past connections. I mean, there's endless things of why this person is acting the way that they are. But I'm going to tell you straight up that this person is feeling tied to you. And that may scare them. They may not know why they feel the way that they do, but they feel in something. Something, something, something. <laughs> so I don't know if that um, resonates with you guys. You can definitely let me know in the comments. Let me know what's going on with your story. Hit that like button. Let me know if this makes sense for y'all. All right. What is this person wanting to say to the collective? I talk to others. Yeah, you know what? Like, I, I don't even feel like this person really has anything bad to say about you. I definitely feel like if someone brings you up or, you know, they just get on the conversation of you, they actually have really good things to say about you. Um, I definitely feel like for some of you, they do have love still for you. I mean, when you generally really love someone, it's really hard for you to stop loving that person. I feel like you'll learn to adjust to life without that person, but to like, stop loving them. Usually that's really, really hard, but I would say whoever this is for you guys, they are talking to other people about you, but don't get it twisted. It's not anything bad. They could be telling this person they miss you or like you're a really good person and they screwed up, you know, stuff in the line of that. So I do feel like this person has definitely got you on the radar. They definitely got you on their mind. So divine feminine, keep doing what you are doing, babes. All right. Accept my apology the next 24 hours. So, y'all, this person's coming back around. Whoever this is, this person's coming back around. For some of you in the next 24 hours, you may hear an apology where this person says, you know, hey, I'm sorry for my attitude. I was hurt about the situation with you, whatever the case is. But I want to talk to you. I want to make this up with you. I called my dad and my mom and I spoke about you. So for some of you, this person is actually talking to their mom or dad about you, trying to get advice, trying to see how to fix this situation with you. I don't know why I'm scared to take this leap of faith with you. I really feel like this person in like particular, they do have a lot of love. <coughs> Sorry. They do have genuine feelings for you and that may scare them. It may scare them. They may have never felt this intense connection or this intense relationship with anyone but you. And so that would make a lot of sense of why this person is scared, why they're afraid to take the lip. They miss holding you too. So like this person really, truly does miss being close to you. I'm not holding back, opening up, texting, calling, showing up. For some of you with this apology card coming up, this person may just show up. They may be like... They're knocking on your door. They're hitting up your phone. They're in town. They want to see you. They want to talk to you. They, they're going to open everything up to you and literally tell you, like, I want to be with you. And I'm sorry that I couldn't express that before. 
but I'm expressing it now. Sorry, guys, they're cutting some trees. So if you hear the background noise, I apologize. Uh, a gift. Some of you are about to receive a gift from this person. They want to give you something. For some of you, it could be unexpected. No one puts it down like you the way you are. See, there's something about you, Divine Feminine. There's something about you being um, very genuine, very understanding, like very compassionate, very empathetic. Like you just have this vibe, this aura about you. And I feel like the Divine Muslim's not used to that, right? So when we're talking about this person, whoever, you know, you're engaging with right now, they, they may be trying to find you in other people. And they may be coming around and realizing, you know, it don't work like that. I just saw 555. So there's definitely some changes coming towards this connection, whoever this reading is resonating. Yeah, not only are is there some type of gift coming in, but I definitely feel like some date nights and flowers I see in the mist here. Maybe in the next couple of weeks, a couple of days. Yeah, like this person can't help the way they feel about you. And that might be what they're scared of. Like, why... Am I feeling this way for this person? I'm sorry it took me so long to realize what this connection meant to me. It's like this person didn't realize how much truly you met to them till I feel like you guys were ripped apart or disconnected or something. So I don't necessarily feel like you're really in contact with this person or talking to this person right now. But there's like a vibe, or maybe they recently came back into your life, but there's like a, a vibe of like them trying to get enough, would it be mojo or would it be like just trying to get enough courage to be like, okay, this is what I feel for you. This is what I want moving forward. I need to know how you feel. Yeah, because honestly, guys, whoever this is for you, if this is resonating, if this sounds like your story, if, if this is really helping you, please let me know in the comments. Please hit that like button. If you want a personal reading on like your person, definitely hit me up on my email. Definitely have some personal readings I can do for you. But yeah, they do love you. Whoever this is does love you. I'm sorry for making you feel like an option. You are more than that, though. Yeah, maybe you felt like this person made you out to be an option. Something with spells, curses, and hexes keeps coming up in the energy. So, you know, this whole connection could have been cursed. It could have been hexed. Someone could have done some spell against you too. Whatever the case is, know at the end of the day, if this is resonating, if this sounds like your story, this person does truly love you. Yeah, they want to do this again. This is someone that I literally feel like is coming back around in the next 24 hours, the next couple days here. And they're going to be like, look, I don't know how you're really, truly feeling, but I know in my heart, like, you're the person that I want to be with. You're the person that I want to see how things pan out with, and I can't get you off my mind. So what are we going to do with this? I feel like whoever this is, is coming with like a straightforward answer. They want to fight for you. This is someone that already feels some type of protective armor for you. Like, they don't like the idea of you being with someone else. They don't like the idea of you entertaining someone else. They don't like the idea of someone else calling you theirs. So they're coming in with that. You're mine. I'm claiming you. That's this. Wow. Okay. You're my wife. I knew the moment I saw you. This came up twice in the other reading too. Yeah. Someone just knows. They know deep down that you are what they've been waiting for. And again, I feel like that comes off with being a little bit afraid to take that leap of faith, especially if this person's already been married or they've already dealt with a situation that didn't work out. It's kind of like, <laughs> could God really be blessing me twice here? So this person could be really, really, really scared. But mark my words, this is not over. I'm coming back. I don't feel like you've heard the last from this person. I legit feel like this person wants more of you. And I feel like right now, I <clears throat> I would say they're the definitely in their feelings. Let me pick up two more for you. Closing card spirit. What are the closing cards? I want to make love to you. And I'll return soon. I'm in my head and feelings. So, yeah, that's what I was feeling. 
All right. So definitely in their feelings, definitely overthinking this connection right now. But I do see an apology coming through for you guys. So if it resonates, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know in the comments and I will chat with you guys soon. Okay.